Hello everybody and welcome to Godlike Burger. Now uh, this is a game where you run a kitchen, the kitchen is in space and the food is your customers. Yes, so it's a bit like Cook Serve Delicious with a bit of extra murder on the side. So uh, without further ado, let's go and have a look and I'll run you through the tutorial. This is by Liquid Pug and Daedalic Entertainment. Um, it is actually in early access at the moment. And uh, it's just, this is the demo that you get to play as part of the Steam Festival. So that's where we are with that. So anyway, we are in our, uh, we usually have about seven minutes per round in our restaurant. And here is the tutorial. So you get to cook burgers according to recipes in the upper left hand corner. So each dude will have, and they're not too hard to see, they look difficult to see, but the purple thing is onions, and then there's a red thing that's tomato, and a yellow thing that's cheese, so it's reasonably easy. Most of them have a, just the one burger patty on in this level as well. I imagine it gets harder. There are more different uh, ingredients that you can buy later on as well, but it seems to be just onions, tomatoes, and cheese being used in this like uh, preliminary level. Each race prefers a different type of meat experiment to find the right one for them. Meat, buns, and other ingredients from the fridge. Fry the meat before assembling the burger, but do not forget to remove it from the stove in time. I do that all the time. You can assemble burgers right in the fridge or on the table. When it's ready, assign the cooked burger to the order number in the pickup window. Serve your burgers on time before the customers get upset and leave. If the burger matches the recipe and you selected the right meat, the customer will leave a tip. Press tab or Y on the gamepad to open the guidebook. You can note the characteristics of the races in this menu. So if you find anything out, you can add it or you can just buy their uh, info card. Kill visitors to get meat. You can use your cleaver for that. Press space on the keyboard or right trigger on the gamepad. One or use a trap. Just press the button near the trap and select activation mode to make it work. So you press X and then A to activate usually on the controller. I think it's T on the keyboard and then enter by the looks of it. Okay, next one. Um, don't forget to hide the bodies. Hold F or A until progress indicator is filled. Sometimes that can be a bit tricky because it seems to like try to show you what to do. Um, and so you think that you're hiding the body, but you're not. And that can cause you a lot of trouble. So uh, you gotta just watch out for that. It can be a bit finicky. Wash blood off clothes. This takes forever. So as soon as you can get traps, do. Because traps will kill people without getting your clothes dirty. And that makes a big difference. Um, I would definitely advise killing every customer in at the end of the day. Because apparently um, they'll process any customer that's on the floor at the end of the day will get processed. So if you just go around and kill them all with your cleaver... And if you're quick, you can do it before they notice. So, <laughs> secret extra tip there. Don't commit crimes in front of others. If you make a mistake, the customer suspicion bar will start filling up. So they've got a satisfaction uh, meter above their heads and they've also got a suspicion meter above their heads. If it goes up to like 100%, then they become suspicious. That red circle appears, you can see in the uh, animation there. And then they want to come after you. You want to stay out of that red circle and if you kill somebody in the middle of a room full of people, then everyone will have a red circle. You will not survive. Okay, so. But some some will become aggressive and some might flee in panic and report to the police and then you get a police star. And then you've got to pay the police off at the end of the day. Okay, to avoid a fight with an aggressive visitor, do not go into the red area around the client. As I say, sometimes that's really impossible, but you don't have much health. You start off with like three things of health. So if you get hit like basically three times by a customer then you are dead. Uh, in case of death, the game will start from the very beginning and you will only have purchased upgrades and the content of the guidebook. So you gotta be really careful. If you get if you do get killed and all your money for the day is gone. So if you get loads and loads if you get loads and loads of money, how have they got like a hundred million thousand credits on that screen there? Cheap mode. But um yeah if you if you do die um all your money's gone you're back to your starter one hundred but you do start with a meat full of fridge, a meat full of fridge, a fridge full of meat. Okay, the main elements of the interface will help you keeping track of what's happening in the game. We'll go over those when we're in the game a bit more. Um, 
buy ingredients and upgrades from the online store. We'll go over that later as well. Pay your bills every day and bribe cops if you need to using your phone. I'm not sure what happens if you don't pay the bills every day. I'm not really sure. Because uh, there's been days where I've not paid my bills and uh, you get an unpaid bill meter to the side there. But I think if you keep it quite reasonably low, then you're, you're fine. But anyway, travel between different planets and the map. Sorry, using the map to travel, you'll need a certain level of prestige and money for fuel. So you can go to another level as well. Although today I think I will be mostly focusing on Junkum area and I'll just do as much as I can with that level. Buy and upgrade traps on the restaurant map. You can save some of the money in the safe, it will remain, even after death of the character. However, the safe instantly burns half of the due amount. So you can save your money, but you only get half of it. So if you think, well, I'm not going to make it through like two days without getting killed, but I want to save a bit of money up for like one of the more expensive traps, then that's the way to do it in your safe. Also, you can use the blender to create a source from customer body parts. But before you before that, you need to buy a recipe from the online store. Okay, use the ladder to leave the basement and start a new day. I haven't played around much with the, the secret sources, but there we are. That's, that's the end of the tutorial. So we shall resume and actually start cooking some burgers for my people. So you start off with like 12 of the meat that the rat people like, which are the people around here. So I'm going to pick up two of them. I'm going to put them in my two stoves that I'm given to start with. And I'm going to start making a burger they want an onion burger actually I already know that because it took me so long to get started so what I want to do is uh, take the cooked burger put it on the patty quickly sell it and then grab the other patty before it burns so that's the thing right now Oops. we'll pop that there now they go in there to smoke and there is a gun in there, you might notice. That will be a trap that I can unlock later, which is really cool. Okay, customer number two is here, so if I just make- I know they're going to want a burger. So I'll make a burger, but I just won't put any toppings on it yet. But you've got to be a little bit careful on the first day, you only have like one of these plat- one of these uh, breadboards when you first start the game, so it's a bit difficult. That one also wants an onion burger, so there we are. Onion burger for you. Like, you don't necessarily need to kill anybody on the first day, but, you know, I like to show you guys, so let's just kill someone. So you do that, then you've got to get rid of their body, which is like that, and then you've got to wash yourself off in the sink so that you do not raise any suspicion. So that, luckily, was my third customer. So that's the customer that I haven't actually cooked anything for yet, which is wonderful. And you can see there now I've got like a little meat processor symbol over him and a little red progress bar. As soon as that progress bar is done, then the meat will go in the fridge. So you can see at the moment I have 10 meat. And then if I look in there in a minute, I will have 13 meat. So customer number four is on the way. It really is ideal if you can kill your customers after they've eaten, but um, I sometimes find it hard to know which one's which, so I'm not, I don't worry about it too much. <laughs> I don't think you get a perfect score if, uh, and you can see down there, two patties received and a couple of bod different body parts, which I can put in uh, the blender once I have a blender, I think. I've never actually managed to get a blender yet, so uh, we now have another 12 patties, so we're back to where we started. So that'll feed another two customers. Yay! So also I need a cheeseburger. And then I will need an onion burger as well. So I'll do a I'll put the patty in the cheeseburger and then I'll make up the onion burger in my own time. It's a lot easier once you have two boards. So the cheeseburger goes to customer number four. And we'll grab the patty before it burns and make up an onion burger in the fridge and then add that on. That's, that's how I like to do it. I think you can actually put the patties in the fridge and make up a burger that way. So we could try doing that actually. So I can make up these patties, I can put them straight into the fridge and then I can make the burger in the fridge. Oh, 
Although I know I need a tomato burger, so I may as well make that. I need two tomato burgers, so okay. The orders came in before I could make them, so it's fine. We'll do it that way then. So obviously I'm using a lot of pre-made stuff at the moment. Um, a lot of the, the meat that's been given to me early on. Uh, but then as I go through this, I'm going to need to do a lot more murdering. <laughs> Call it what it is, I guess. A lot more, a lot more elimination. Should we call it elimination? I am going to have to put this down as video game violence. <laughs> but it's only what you do. I mean, like, basically every game that you play has killing in it. It's just that this one is a little bit more gruesome because they're eating the stuff as well. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I find it so funny, but, you know, it kind of is comic. I like his, like, little, um little wee leg. Oh no. Quick change of headphones. Ah, I always, uh, there's always something that goes wrong in a recording, isn't there? I can never just, oh yeah, that's the, I just knocked that. But. These are starting to burn. Okay, right, so to just to save my butt here, I'm gonna put one in the fridge. There we are. And I can just add my own Lysure, get a rollout. So that's something you can do if, if I don't know, your cat jumps on your keyboard or your, <laughs> your headphones change, whatever. So we've got a cooked meat patty there. And I can just, so that saved it from burning basically. And I could give it to the customer. Lovely! Right, okay, let's see. It's always better to like murder them in the toilet if you can, because oh, that's gonna be a nightmare to get rid of the body. Is it gone? Yes, okay. Just to, just to keep the meat stocks up, because they are getting a little bit low right now. So let's have a little look. Um, we had six, we've got another two on the way as well. That should get us through to the end of the day, I think, now. Make a tomato burger. And then we've got another tomato burger and then an onion burger to go, okay. Sometimes it does put you quite behind doing the, uh... doing the murderizing, so. Customer 10, and then customer 12. And then customer 11, we've got to cook it as well. Ah. Customer 12 wants, sorry, customer 11 wants a onion burger. I don't know if we'll do it in time though. Look at that ticker. One thing you can do is if you've made up like an onion burger and the customer walks out, which this one might do. I'm not dead quick. I might catch them. Oh, I just caught them. Nice. Make an onion burger, um, tomato burger even. I made the right thing even if I didn't uh, say it. Oh, where's customer, customer 14? Oh, it's customer 14 wants it. Okay, that's fine. Making some good money today. Get all the traps open today, I reckon. Okay, so I want a cheeseburger next. Then a plain burger, then a cheeseburger. cooking while I'm making that burger up. Number 15 and then number 16 wants a cheeseburger. So 
let's just hope that it cooks just, just before they run out of time there. Darn it. Oh no, customer 16 does want, oh no. Because I was mucking around with that, so that needs to go in the bin now. Because I was mucking about with that, I, I lost the meat patty. But we've made 591 uh, Scooby Dollars today, which is great. I will probably spend a lot of that today. Um, how much meat I got left? None. But we're also at the end of the day. So, end of the day is murder time. How many people are left in here? Just one. Okay. So you're going to eat your burger, and then I'm going to murder you. And then that will be the end of the day. <laughs> and then I'll get two pieces of meat in the morning. And that was S rank. That was like a pretty much perfect day. Um, they, they all either got their burger correct or they died. One or the other. So wonderful. And I got 641 scuba -dee dollars. So I can either choose to try and be very cautious tomorrow with what I do. Although I do know I've got a lot of murdering to do. Or I can choose to, to buy a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not really sure. So what we have to do is there are traps there that I can purchase. That is my bills, which I'm not going to pay today, actually. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to pay the bills the whole way through this demo because you only have a few days worth. So I'm going to try and dodge them for a bit. You can see that we are at Junkamera, so that would be where I'd be allowed to fly away. Um, this is where I can make secret sauces for the next day. That's my blender. Ah, oh, that's where the blender is. That's where I can, uh, I think that's where I can see my fridge. Yeah. And you can see that I've got three meat from the person that I killed at the end of the day. But I do need to do a bit of murdering tomorrow morning. Um, and then I have a safe there. That's where I can put my money if I want to. So I think the first thing I'm going to do buy a couple of traps. Now that trap out there is pretty useless unless you can have it completely automated because I don't see a lot of people using that vending machine at all. However, there are a lot of people taking smoke breaks out the back by that gun and there are a lot of people going to the toilet. So the two things I'm going to open will be the toilet trap. And you can see that there's a few other things we can do. We can put a motion sensor on it and you can make it auto remove the corpse. Now. I would definitely say what you want to do is probably auto remove the corpses before you put the motion sensor in. Now I don't know if people get suspicious if they see dead bodies on the floor that you can't get to. But I'd rather spring the trap and get the corpse auto removed and that means you've got one less thing you've got to do. You can just go in and spring the trap and run away. And then once you get the motion sensor in after that then it's basically an auto trap at that point. And then what you can do is work on getting the damage up and the cooldowns uh, down on it so you can get more and more and more meat from them, which is really cool. If you die, these will stay. So they're really, really cool. Okay, and the other thing I'm going to do is purchase this gun. Yeah, the other, do you know what the other thing I might do on them is to take the cooldowns down or I could try and save my money. I'm gonna try and have a, I'm gonna be a little bit uh, on the, oh uh, well, I would say the ballsy side. <laughs> That's probably the only, the brave side, let's, let's put it that way. I'm gonna be a little bit on the brave side today and I'm going to try and not die and not raise suspicion and see if I can keep my money. This could go terribly wrong. I could end up losing 500. It's a bit like one of those game shows. It's like, do you open the box or do you not? But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be risky. I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit today, so I've gotta be careful with my murders, okay? <laughs> Day two. Right, so I shall start off with the meat that I got at the end of the day. Cooking that. And I'm going to start by making putting my burger bun down there. Oh, you know what I meant to do as well? Was to give myself a second board today. Oh, well we'll do that at the end of the day, okay? It's going to be a busier day today, but I have traps now, so you've got to watch out for anybody go to the toilet. 
or going for a smoke in the back room. Let's put that in the fridge. And then I'll cook the other one up that I've got and we'll put that in the fridge as well. So we've got, uh, we need a cheeseburger. customer number one then I'm gonna need a another cheeseburger for customer number two but then for customer number three four five and six I'm gonna to need to go and murder somebody for some meat so let's just uh, do what we can for these customers hopefully they'll pay me And I can get one meat patty out of there and then I can also get a burger bun, tomato and that'll be for customer number three. So where is customer? So four, five and six are all like wait in the toilet or waiting for the toilet, which is a really ideal murder place. Right, they're going out as well, so wonderful. Tentacle toilet! So that was, that killed them without getting me messy at all. There's also someone going out the back there, but if I get full of blood, then that's a problem. Uh, however, there is a gun here. Oh, get out! I quickly get rid of the body before he notices. Suspicion went up to like 20 odd percent, but I managed it. So now we've got um, two of them that are going to grind up for meat. And the other thing that I can then do, murderize this guy in the toilet and then like hide there while that guy goes out. I don't think he's coming in. And then quickly scrub myself up. I'm losing orders here, but you don't die for losing orders. You just make your money, so that's fine. We've got quite a bit of meat now, so I can start making burgers again. Or I've at least got quite a bit of meat lined up, I suppose. So the next one, I would say I could probably do... Let's try making an onion burger. I don't think I might make that double cheeseburger in time. So I'll try and just do the others. Yeah, they might be a bit angry with me. Yeah, I might not get a good score today. But the idea is to try and build up to better scores. Ooh, you did not like, you do not like me, some of you guys. Well, there's some suspicion growing here. I'm just gonna hide out of the back here. What? I don't understand what the suspicion's all about. Gosh. Um, the police are here. Oh no, what happened? Oh, I've still got ages left. Did one of them run away? Oh no. I don't even know if I gave them the right order there. I just have to hide from the police till the end of the day. <laughs> this is terrible. This is the first time I've had the cops in though. So I actually kind of don't even care if I do lose my money because it's interesting to see. Oh, I see. I've got like a, a police timer. They'll go away after a while if they don't find anything. They're looking for evidence. Look. I'm just hiding out the back here. I don't have any blood on me and there are no bodies. Nothing to see here, officer. I'm just cooking burgers. I think I'm just gonna wait for them to go. <laughs> and then start again with the cooking. I mean, am I, allow am I allowed to cook in the meantime? I know there's no evidence of anything here, so. I think they might be going away. <laughs> so 
So this is for customer number 16. This will be for customer number 17. Oh, uh, number 19, sorry. Stay away from the pleasers. I think the pleasers might be gone in a minute. I'm not allowed to do any murderizing while they're there, I'm guessing. You didn't find anything, pleasers. Go away. <laughs> I really wanted to make more money than this today. Do I have any more meat now? I've got one more piece of meat. So let's try and sell one more burger if I can. Let's try and make it like this double cheeseburger if possible. Don't know if I'll have time to do it, but a double cheeseburger will probably sell for quite a bit of money. And I need money. I only have a minute left today to make some money, so. <laughs> New wave of police is arriving. Uh, yeah. Will my, will my suspicion level drop? I'm gonna have to pay them off. 500 to pay them off completely as well and I won't be able to do any murderizing until they've gone I wonder if you lose your police heat if you die what I might do is see if I could get enough money together I don't have enough money for the traps unfortunately Oh, I do now. I've got enough money for the traps. So, if we wait for the end of the day, wait for the police to go away, wait for all the customers to go away, which they will do eventually, I can buy my automated trap that I want to show you guys uh, with my $750. As long as I don't do any murders or anything by the end of the day, I'm pretty sure I'll be okay. Then tomorrow, what I'll do is I'll just come in here and die straight away. <laughs> <laughs> to get the police off my tail so I don't have to spend 500 quid on it because <laughs> that's like full police suspicion however I'm really glad it happened because that like oh did I leave someone dead in the toilet is that what happened see this is why you need the auto pickup this is why you need it because you can go and spring the trap get their body and then it automatically picks the body up and that's what I want to do I want to get auto pick up and make things a lot easier I'm just waiting for everybody to go <laughs> these last three customers should go and then hopefully they'll, they'll get annoyed they'll run out of here the police will go away I can still see the dead body in the toilet. We'll start off with two meat tomorrow, though. I've still got terrible police heat, though. Right, let's see if we can hide the body while the police are gone. Uh, like, not looking. <laughs> oh, so funny. Oh, okay, so that was a bit of a slow day. But I managed to make it through. I only made an F rank. That's fine. I was just looking to make a couple of hundred to get my automated trap. So I'm quite, I'm quite happy with this. <laughs> Not really an automated trap though. It's uh, more like. So this is what happens when you leave dead bodies around, and this is why you choose the. This is what. So I'm going to make. Um... The toilet trap water remove corpse okay and then we're basically gonna go and uh, I'm gonna see about the police level the police level is still terrible today's special police so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go around basically murderizing police it's gonna be a fun day hey look 
<laughs> and I'm dead. But I did that with 39 monies. So what you want to do is if you know you've got loads of police heat and you want to do a game over and restart, you can restart. And now I'm restarting with my new trap, you see. So <laughs> I'm happy. Look, all my police heat is gone. I've got a fridge full of meat again. So sometimes you make more progress by dying. But you just got to make sure you do it under circumstances that you want rather than circumstances that the game wants. So let's start again. <laughs> See if we can make some more money. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, start some of these guys. And net tomorrow I'll give myself a load of new chopping boards, I think, with any money I make today. And we need to keep a really good eye out for anybody in the toilet. The toilet, I find, is the most annoying place to try and find them to get disposed of the body, which is why I think it's good to go for that one first. For the auto trap. Stick that in the fridge. I got a little bit behind explaining things. I don't know why. But this should be quite a chill day because it's a day where I've just... Oh, I could have made that whole thing in the fridge. I need to remember that. If I've got a cooked patty already, I can already I can just make it in the fridge. All right, let's cook two more. And like I say, you should have a chill day. No pleasers. It should all be good. <laughs> but yeah, I was so pleased to have the police because I've in none of my practice runs have I had police. And that was really quite cool to see the little dudes coming in and like checking the restaurant, <laughs> hiding in the corner. It was brilliant. I enjoyed that. And I'll enjoy showing you guys the automated traps as well. Right, so onion burger. And another onion burger. Oh no, actually just one onion burger. Apparently I have already. So they're off on a little smoke break back there. They've already had their their food, so I'm gonna put the trap on. And then when they come out, when they walk away, I go and I shoot them, and then I hide their body. And then all is good. Anybody in the toilet right now? No one's in the toilet right now. Someone's in the toilet. They're going for the toilet. Toilet trap. Oh, wrong toilet. How annoying. Boo. Okay, you're a new customer. You're, you've already eaten. Oh gosh, okay. Um, kill you. Hide your body. Kill you also. Hide your body. Gave myself a wash. See, so I've killed everybody who's had burgers and already paid me, which is the absolute ideal. And then let's go and do some, let's go and do some, uh, some cooking. La la, la 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 la. I'm going to make up a tomato and onion burger. So this is, this is the nice thing. This is how, this is how you should be doing it. A new wave is approaching. Oh, that's just a normal customer. So I was like, oh no, a new wave of pieces again. No. No, it's all fine. It's all good. So that's a customer four. And this one is also a customer with a tomato and onion order. Customer five. Right, do we have anyone in the toilet right now? No, I, I've killed most of the people. We've got one there eating. Where's the other one? Playing a game. Oh, right, they're on there. Okay. Quickly get rid of your body. And quickly wash up. I've got time to wash up, you see. And then there's another one smoking. I could possibly use the gun trap out here. Oh, where are they smoking? I'm not smoking in the back room. Are they smoking outside? 
Yes, they decided to go outside for a smoke. So they can live. Got 13 pieces of meat. We've got more than we started with, so I'm starting to do well here. Number six. So I think I don't think you've had your burger, so let's make you your burger quickly. Do you want a onion and tomato burger? Gonna just cook up another meat patty as well, just uh, just for later. That's all ready for customer six. Pop another one in actually good to have them staggered. So that one's going to be for an onion burger. Number seven and then an onion burger for number eight. As soon as that patty's fried I'll go in. Um, oh no the one that's smoking hasn't had their dinner yet. That's annoying. I think they have to come and get it to pay for it as well. One is eating, one is collecting their food, and one is having a smoke, but they're going to come and collect their food. So while they're up to all of that, I'm going to cook another couple of patties. Right, the one that's on the toilet has had their food. Oh, it's going to take ages to murder them, though. They're in the wrong toilet. I'm going to end up burning the uh, patties at the street. No, I did it. I managed it. Nice. Just have to put that in the fridge. Okay, so next one wanting plain burgers. Okay, cool. Number nine and number ten. Actually, the meat patties are already cooked. I've actually got two two cooked meat patties in there, so I'm going to get the other one out onto the chopping board so I don't forget about it. And that's everyone sorted. Nice. All right, is there anybody? There's someone in that toilet. I want. I like it when people go to the back room for a smoke, or they're in the toilet that's got the trap in it. It does make it a lot easier have to wash myself off. No, they're coming back out. Well, I've got time, so I may as well get you and have a wash, and then we'll start on the next orders. So on like the day one equivalent, it's, all, it's actually really easy. up with everything honestly um so i've got a cheeseburger to make but i already have the patty grilled for it and that's the end of the day and you know what end of the day means murder spree there's one left oh no there isn't okay they've left so i did a another perfect run of a day Made myself $240, 58 in tips, plus 150 restaurant score. But my restaurant score is like, it does reset when I, when I restart a day. But the idea of it all is that you, that eventually I won't need to worry about restarting a day because of the pleases or whatever, because it will be basically automatically murdering the customers and disposing of their bodies for me. So, yeah. So now I'm going to get myself a couple of things just to help me make things a bit more uh, efficient. What I would like to do, I could increase the, the cooking speed on the stoves for almost all of my money. Let's see how many buns and things I've got left though, because if I don't have enough then that's a problem. But I seem to have plenty of ingredients, that's fine. So I'm thinking... I might actually increase stove speed. I 
I don't know if an extra stove would be better than that though. Hmm. An extra module is going to be really useful, but while I've got enough money to do one of these, I should, I think. Auto switch off the stove as soon as the meat is ready. Extra meat processor slots and meat processor speeds, they'll eventually be really useful. Um, probably not at the moment. I don't know whether extra speed on the stove or an extra stove is better. I'm gonna go with the extra stove, I think. We'll see. We shall see. I just wanted something that was useful straight away. So that's all I can really afford. And uh, the bills are probably mounting. I need to be a bit careful of that. Not really, not too bad. Probably because I died actually, so the, the bills are, have reset themselves. <laughs> So honestly, don't pay any of the bills uh, and maybe just die a couple of times while you're like setting your restaurant up and then everything is forgiven when you die. So, you know, it's like you fake your own death for a little bit of a reset, but you keep all of your nice tasty upgrades. So now I've got a third stove, which is really nice. So I shall start off by cooking all the meat I can. I actually have a lot of meat to start the day with, which is quite nice, and I'll just stick it all in the fridge, cooked. And I can start on my first burger, and as I say, I will get some more, I definitely will get some more platforms tomorrow, I won't have enough for a fourth stove, for a long time, so. The thing I'm thinking here is I should have left a bit more time between putting these on just to give me more time to get it into the fridge okay so now let's uh, make up a burger in the fridge so we make a cheese burger for customer one then I make a cheese burger for customer two Then I make then then I'm gonna get all of this into the fridge. Then I'm going to make a regular burger. For customer number three. And a tomato burger for customer number four. Don't even need these, look. Then I'm gonna put another three on. I did that all too quickly again. I have to be really on the ball with this. So they're all eating at the moment. A couple of them are in the toilet, so I might be able to go and do a little bit of murdering in a minute. So I just got to watch these grills first. So there's one smoking back here. I'm just gonna make a, uh, just a standard burger for this one. Oh, I've missed them. How annoying. Oh, there's someone in the toilet. Toilet trap. Out my way, I wanna do the toilet trap. And then they should automatically just get taken away and put into the meat grinder, which is amazing. Toilet trap for the win. Okay, so customer number six wants an onion burger. Customer number seven wants a tomato burger. Customer eight wants an onion burger. That's all of my meat used up then. So let's grill another three. And 
We've got another three patties there from the dude in the toilet. Oh, he's smoking right by there. That's so annoying. No, that won't work. Okay, let's just run and get the meat patties quickly. Don't want them getting uh, overdone. And then I can try and see about working on this guy. Oh, I just missed him. No, there's someone in the toilet. Oh, the toilet trap just... Oh, no, it just respawned. Just as you went out of the toilet. How annoying. Uh... He's just going to be out of the way of that. Need to wait for him to move. Come on, move. Ah, I'm going to have to make more burgers. So annoying. Okay, so tomato and onion burger for number nine. Tomato burger for number ten. Cheese. Uh, oh. Oh no, it was a tomato burger. Oh, I got the wrong one for him. I'm going to get penalised for that one. Why do they put them in the wrong order? It's so annoying. Toilet trap for you. Ah. Okay, um, number 13's tomato burger we probably won't be able to do. I'm gonna put some more on the grill. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna manage to get every single order while also doing the murders myself. How are we doing for me? Hmm, it is going down. I'm gonna, I will try and get everyone at the end of the day as well, see if that'll just uh, increase it a little bit for me. An onion burger for 15. A tomato burger for 16. There's nobody in any convenient trap locations right now, so what's a uh, plain burger for 17? Okay, let's just put some more meat on. all the way down to like 21 here and that would be fine norm if i wasn't trying to like do all the murdering around it so but i am so you know it makes it just so much of a harder day when you've got extra murdering to do you've got to catch all the meat yourself as well as cook it nightmare so onion burger for 18, uh, tomato and onion burger for 19, and a tomato burger for 20. I'm sure with a bit of practice you can get it so that you can um, get all the stoves going and be making the burgers at the same time and blah 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 blah. But I find that a little tricky right now. Not gonna lie. Oh, we're on zero now, so I'll put away all of the patties. I'll try and serve as many as I can. And then I will... Then I will go around and do a murder spree. Okay, so we've got... Um, Right, I want to make one onion patty for 25. I want to make an onion patty for 24 as well. And I want to, do I have any more left? Yes, make a cheese patty, 27. 
and then I'm just gonna go and kill everybody. There's the toilet trap on you. See if you're fast, see how much meat I've got for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, I got a C rank because I missed a few orders at the end there because I just started to run out of meat but that was like yeah okay I'm just going to kill all the customers at the end just to make a bit more money so I've got 643 which isn't quite enough unfortunately for another trap or anything but should be enough to get me maybe a couple of chopping boards or something faster meat processing yeah, definitely killing all the... I, I, I feel sorry for any customer that's a customer at the end of the day in my thing, in my shop. Because <laughs> it's not good, is it? I do think an extra module... And then I think I want to um, lower the cooldown on the toilet trap. It's the one I use the most, so I feel like it would be good to do that. I can actually reduce that twice. So I think that will make life a lot easier for me in general. It's a good way to spend the money there. And now I have um, two little kitchen counter things to make buns on, which will be probably quite helpful. Oh, I didn't look and see if I was going to run out of uh, burger buns. We might run out of burger buns today. Let's have a look in the fridge. Oh, I still got 19. Okay, well that's that's probably enough to do most of them. Okay, let's get started with the cooking. So we start off with 18 meat patties. Well, I did an awesome murder spree at the end of yesterday. <laughs> and you see I've got my two boards there now and my three stoves. Haven't automated the toilet trap yet. I will eventually do that because it's so out of sight for me. Uh, I shouldn't go murderizing until I've until they've all eaten, should I really? Right, so I wanna make a onion burger. Customer number one, a normal burger. Or customer number two. Onion burger for customer number three. And we'll start on a few new patties. You're in like exactly the right place for this trap. Right place, right time. I'm not gonna... Okay, they're, they're nearly finished. So the person, the, the guy in the toilet gets a reprieve then. It's a bit easier to put them out on the display, isn't it? Is it? Are you going to the toilet? No. Okay, that's fine. You get to live another day then. So at the moment we need a cheeseburger for number four. We need, I'm going to start some new patties going as well. Then we need a normal burger for number five. Why is it every time they're in the trap areas is when patties are about to burn? It's not good. It's far quicker to put these onto the stations than it is to put them in the fridge, so that's why I do it that way. Um, so we need a onion and tomato burger, customer number six, and a cheeseburger, customer number seven. And customer number eight wants a normal burger.
everyone's in the wrong place right now. This is why I need the motion sensor. Can't wait to get the motion sensor. I'm just going to play it pretty cautiously with the, the whole murdering stuff. I've got a lot of meat anyway today, so it's fine. So I should be able to make a lot of money, hopefully. Okay, so we've got customer 9, 10, 11, and 12. I think I've still got some meat. Yes, I do. So customer... Uh, I think I've just made a burger for customer 12 there. I don't know why, but we have. So, okay, so customer uh, nine wants an onion burger. Done. Customer ten wants a cheeseburger. Done. Customer eleven wants a tomato burger. those are cooking I'll see if he moves if he does he's toast Cools me <laughs> the fact I can do that while the grill is still working and usually that gives me like three patties which is really nice so if I'm holding it I make a, a bun so let's say I make a tomato does that make me a tomato burger yeah it does doesn't it okay good to know that's an extra thing that I can do to make it a bit more efficient so tomato and onion we are starting to run out of ingredients now so that's something I'll have to look at next time I'm in the oh that was not the right burger that was number 16's burger I never complain about just eat again. 16's burger. Then 15's burger is a cheeseburger. Oops. Oh, I've run out of patties. Oh no. Let's put some more on. See how quickly you go through them. the point where I need him to be so let's just uh, wait for the patties to be made there's like a million of them oh okay let's not do that then um, let's just make uh, number 17 button then number 18 wants a cheeseburger which we've got already made there somehow <laughs> Number 19 wants an onion burger. That buys me a little bit more time. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. Haven't done enough murderizing today by a long shot, but I'm making good money. So I'm hoping that uh, I might have enough for something good today, if not at least tomorrow. We're getting tips as well, which is nice. Yeah, there's someone in the toilet there, but I'm because I'm cooking so fast, I can't afford to to, to go and do it. Whereas, like, if it was automated, that'd be so much better for me. Right, so 21 is a plain burger, and that, my friends, is my last burger patty. So we're gonna put these in the fridge for tomorrow and spend the rest of the day murdering all the customers. We're on zero now anyway, so. Ah, no, run, 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 oh no, no. <laughs> oh man. 
Okay, well, I think at that point, uh, I have shown you plenty of this. So you can imagine how it goes on. We get uh, more automation, we get uh, possibly more polices and more things like that. But uh, I, I just uh, didn't think that as many people would just flood in the door as they, as they did at that point. Um, so I was expected to have loads of meat for the next day, but we are on an hour. This game is so, so, so fun. Um, it, it only really lets you in the demo go for a few days, uh, not much longer than I've done now. But I'm really, really actually kind of looking forward to the release of this. <laughs> I'll probably pick it up and have lots of fun with it. This looks like an amazing game to do for a stream or something like that. But anyway, that is it for me and uh, Godlike Burger. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.